We hear a lot about hybrid or electric cars, but what about public transportation? We're headed to learn about the future from the nation's leader in hydrogen fuel cell buses. Let's go! Dana, next stop is Dana. Dana, next stop. Veteran bus driver Nancy Bryant is a pioneer. She drives a hydrogen fuel cell bus. In fact, this is the third generation of hydrogen fuel cell buses she's driven, and she never wants to go back to diesel. On the other older buses, when we have gasoline or diesel fuel, you can sometimes smell it comes in, inside the bus. This particular bus, you can't smell any fumes. And that's not all. The noise pollution is zero. When you start the bus up in the mornings, you barely can even know the bus is running. We have now carried 1.8 million passengers with the, the, this demonstration fleet. So it's pretty exciting and it's growing and it's proving its value as a clean, sustainable technology. Jamie Levin, Director of Environmental Technology for AC Transit in the San Francisco Bay Area, says they've been a leader in fuel cell technology. We embraced this technology actually 13 years ago when we saw a first demonstration vehicle and said, wow, this is an amazing technology. Quiet buses, virtually no noise, zero emission out of the tailpipe. I mean, these vehicles travel through the most densely populated regions on the planet. Sound complicated? It all starts with water, H2O. The one part oxygen needs to be separated from the two parts hydrogen, which is then compressed as a gas for fuel. You're used to a car which has an internal combustion engine and it combusts, it ignites uh, a fuel, gasoline, and that burns and it creates pressure that drives mechanically your vehicle. This is an electric vehicle, all electric vehicle, and it gets its power from the fuel cell. So inside that fuel cell is a membrane that splits the hydrogen atom into protons and electrons, and it frees up those electrons. They go through a circuit which drives the motors. Splitting atoms? That sounds, well, explosive, like in hydrogen bomb. It's very different. The hydrogen bomb is not at all chemically or physically related to the use of free hydrogen as we use it. To be sure, it's a fuel. It's got lots of energy in it, but it's also the lightest element in, in the periodic table. It's even, it's 14 times lighter than, than the, the air that we breathe. So it's very diffuse and in an open air environment, it goes up and out very rapidly. It makes it very difficult to actually ignite it. You won't see anything coming from the exhaust because there are no carbon emissions. Well, that's what's so wonderful about it. The only thing out of the tailpipe is steam. And checking the engine compartment gives a new meaning to the term clean energy. Wow, it's just a box. You'll see some dirt, but that's not oil or grease. That's why our mechanics love to work with this technology. There's no toxicity associated with it. No exhaust fumes, a quieter ride, and even more room inside because the hydrogen fuel tanks are mounted on the top of the bus. When those tanks need refueling after a long day of carrying passengers, the bus pulls into AC Transit's solar-powered filling station. So our next step is to remove the nozzle that we will use to fuel the bus. Wow. That's really different from what we're used to. Yeah, well, that's because this is a positive connection. There's high pressure gas. So we're going to positively connect and lock this nozzle to the bus. Can I push the start button? Yeah, go ahead, please. So now it's equalizing the pressure between the dispenser and the vehicle, and then you'll see it start uh, fueling the bus. No noise from gas engines. No need for fossil fuels, no threat to global warming. Instead, a smog-free world with clean air. It's a future Levin believes in. Well, I don't think there's any question. In order for us to meet the carbon reduction goals to save our planet, to save the environment that you and I uh, live in, the climate that we're used to, uh, it's important, it's essential to reduce carbon emissions. So we absolutely believe this is our future, and it's a future that's here now. So I give it a, a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs>